Hi there, it's Ms. Novakowski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to play a game called Sweet 16, which I learned from Boxcars and one Eye Jacks. And all you need for this game is a deck of cards, ace through kings, you need two dice or spinners to create a target number, and then you need something to record on, either paper and pencil or a chalkboard or a whiteboard, and that's to record your equations. You turn over 16 cards, and you can use two, three, four, or five cards to make different equations that equal your target number. And you can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. You can also use exponents. And it's a way to be really creative with numbers and how the operations work together. So it really encourages flexible thinking and fluency with what we know about computation. So I'm gonna teach you how to play this game now. So to set up to play Sweet 16, you lay out the cards in a 4x4 four four array. 4x4 four four makes 16, which is why it's called Sweet 16. And so I just turn them over face up. And there you go, ready to go. You just need two dice and a piece of paper and a pencil. So I begin by rolling two dice, and that's going to be the number or target number that we're working for. So today, for this game, the number that we're working towards is eight. So I'm gonna look at these different cards here and see what different combinations of cards I can use to create an equation that works towards eight. I can use two, three, four, or five cards at a time. So in this game, you can use multiple operations. You can use addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, as well as exponents. So one thing I'm noticing right away is I can use three and I can square it. So three squared is three times three, which equals nine. And then I can subtract one and that gets me to eight. So I'm gonna turn those cards over and write down that equation. So three squared, subtract one equals eight. And then I look at the cards that I have left and think about other ways that I can make eight. So I could do two times four. What would you do next? What different ways can you use these cards to make eight? Okay, so I'm going to do six and five makes 11. And a jack equals 11, so I'm going to divide 11 by 11, which equals one, and then add seven, which makes eight. So I'm going to record, turn those over, but I'll just keep them up right now so I don't forget what I did here. I did six and five, and I'm gonna put those in brackets. And then I divided that by 11, and then I subtracted seven. How am I gonna make that clear what I've done? I think if, as long as I've got that in brackets, I do that first, and then divide by 11, and then do that. So that works. Oh, I didn't subtract seven, I added seven. There we go. 11 divided by 11 is one plus seven equals eight. Okay, and I'm looking at my cards that I have left and I'm trying to challenge myself to see if I can use up all my cards. So let's see if I can do this. So I'm gonna add nine and six, which makes 15. And if I subtract eight, that makes seven plus one more equals eight. So let's record that. Six plus nine, subtract eight, 
plus one. Okay, and I would do it from left to right, so I don't need to add any brackets. There we go, so there's those four. And for this last equation here, I've got eight and eight, and remember king equals zero. So I am going to do eight times zero equals zero plus eight equals eight. And I've used all my cards. So I'm gonna write that down. Eight times zero brackets plus eight equals eight. And that's the end of Sweet 16.